this was recently, like the last three years, I cooked a hundred person dinner, mm -hmm. three courses, plus performed on stage between each course a cooking show. <laughs> Fuck yeah. By myself. <laughs> yeah. But on the night How did you on the night, I had like the the 14, 12 year old waiters who had never done it before. Yep. Help me plate. Yeah. And get things ready. Yeah. And my sister, who used to help me with food shows, um, conduct. So, how does that even. <laughs> but essentially, I did the whole thing. How does stuff. that even start? How do you even get there? Like, how did that begin? I was just doing food shows. You just started then, saying yes to stuff? Yeah. I was yeah. doing food shows. Um, and one of the food shows was like this, yeah, this dinner. And then it became a three-course dinner. And then you're going to talk to them about each course between yeah, it and show them sort of what me, to you do just keep saying yes to stuff. It. And as a wolf. Yeah. Yeah. And I, you know, I did it. Um, but I remember being at the end of that day because I prepped. I only had a day to prep as well, basically. Yeah. A day and a half. I might have done some stuff at yeah. home. Getting to the end of that and being like, nothing will ever be as hard as that. Yeah. Ever. That's the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Dude, you throw anyone into that situation and w and just watch them, n number one, never do it because they freak out, they'll be freaking out. And then just like fluff around with shit that doesn't matter. You watch someone that's ever done that for the first time, you're like, that none, none, of, none of anything that you're doing right now is mattering. Yeah. All you need is the whatever, how many plates have we got? You know yeah. what I mean? Have you counted them? Have you just the real basic shit just to keep, but they're like, yeah. we'll put the shit over here. Oh, the that doesn't matter. The efficiency of what's going on. And you just watch them all do 360s for an hour. And I'm just like, stand there. You do this. You yeah. do this. You do that. You do that. Let's go. And you're like also motivating them. Like you're doing everything, but you're motivating them to get their little bit done. Yeah. Great job on the basil. Because you can't get... Really good work. You ha you can't get them to switch off, eh? No. You but it, you have to keep them yeah. wondering too. Keep those plates coming. That's really good. Because <laughs> they'll hit that zone where those... The the first um, the first timers will hit that zone where they're like, I've got this. Mm -hmm. And you need to keep that away from them as long as possible. Yes. To keep them focused. Yes. Because they'll just start going, oh, I'm going to just throw this on, right? Yeah. All those no, no. Remember I told you 20 minutes ago yeah. that this is how we're doing it? Clean the plates, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like that. Wipe the plates. Yeah. Wipe the plates. Wipe. What are you doing, Mark? And it, I remember with that dinner as well. Like, what are you I fucking didn't, doing, Mark? I didn't choose to do something that I know really well. I remember the dessert. I did something that I've never done before. Yep. Because <clears throat> it was all like um, produce-based. So they were some kind of orange. I think they, they were either like a blended organic citrus yep. that someone had given me and they're like this is what you're going to use and I ended up poaching them but I was like poaching them and making the rind edible at the same time okay. so like heavily based sugar syrup and kind of like poaching that and yep, like yep. seeping it in over a long time I was making it up and I was going yeah. and I did like a hundred of them and I was like I hope this works yeah you know <laughs> and it did yep. it worked fucking amazing but it wasn't like even in that scenario under those conditions to go, oh, I'll just make a parfait. Yeah. Call it a day. Yeah. No. I just couldn't help it. I just can't fucking help it.